streak from Tallahassee, Florida. His opponent in this match from Louisville, Kentucky, one of the leading contenders for Rookie of the Year, Nick Dinsmore. Side headlock now by Street on Dinsmore. These are two young fellows that a victory in this match would mean a lot in prestige here at MCW, and they're fighting, quite frankly, to climb the ladder. In particular, Michael, for Tom Street, you know, we haven't seen much of him in the area here, but he came in here, and when you come into MCW and you're new around here, they put you in there with some of the top contenders, just like Nick Dinsmore, like you said, one of the top new uh, Rookies of the Year candidates. But also, he's faced Bull PD uh, in the last couple of weeks as well, and he's here today on TV trying to make a name for himself. A battle of the rookies is definitely right. A uh, classic Greco-Roman style there on the side head, like nice, strong, strength maneuver on uh, the part of Street, but I believe he may have gone into the hair of Nick Dinsmore. Referee Gene Johnson uh, checking with Street. I think he definitely grabbed a handful of the locks. Well, whether or not Street has scouted Mr. Dinsmore very well or not, I don't know, but that's going to be a good strategy for him because, you know, I've watched this Dinsmore over the last couple of weeks. He's had his problems with guys like Frenchie Riviera because Frenchie came out and maybe messed up his so-called good boyish looks and dressed him up like a woman. And then he's had his problems with some of the other competitors around here because he thinks he's some kind of a sex symbol and the women like him. He's one of these type of guys who runs out of bounds just like a quarterback because he doesn't want to get hit and have his facial looks damaged. If Street can go after him and mess the hair up and get any kind of psychological advantage at all. That's going to be only a positive uh, kind of like strategy for Street to impose. A little exchange there between Nesmore and Street. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. And down goes Street. That arm bar being held. Now he puts the arm down to the mat and drops the knee on it. Hey, fans, in case you haven't seen them, they are the hottest item in wrestling today. I'm talking about the brand new MCW Wrestling T-shirt. Out just in time for any gift that you might need. You got a birthday and anniversary or maybe you just need a, uh, a gift for a special wrestling fan in your life, MCW wrestling t-shirts are the things to wear in this day and time. I'll tell you what, Michael, and I get a 25% discount because I work for this organization here, and I come out here and keep you in line. They're thinking of bumping it up to 30 or 35 because I handle you so well. But yeah, I'm giving them to all my friends for, uh, thanks, I mean, uh, well, Christmas and like New Year's and stuff. Yeah, okay. Well, the fact of the matter is the MCW t-shirt, this is wrestling for the 21st century. Make no doubt about it. And you can be one of the first to own an MCW t-shirt right here from Music City Wrestling. There, you see Densmore backed into the corner by Street. And he went low down with that blow. Going to whip him across the way. Whoa, look at this. Street ready in right at your television set as you watch. There's a belly-to-back suplex. And now Nick Densmore takes over again with a short arm bar on Tom Street. Well, people talk about how we're in your face here at MCW. And you got it right there. Reedy, thank God it's not smell vision because, well, this Dinsmore, he loads up on the cologne, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Watch, watch it, watch it, watch it. All right, well, watch it, watch it, whatever. But, yeah, this Dinsmore, like I was saying about how he fancies himself as a, a ladies' man around here, you know, he's all over the Internet and all these girls. I think they're all under the age of 11 or 12 right in and say how great-looking he is and all this stuff. And they love Nick Dinsmore. Big deal, wah, wah, wah. Like Charlie Brown's teacher says, you know, it's a holiday, just like his teacher says. Well, MCW has a worldwide web connection. If you haven't found it, Mr. Adams just alluding to it. If you would like to check out MCW on the World Wide Web, you can do that 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The address, Mr. Adams? It's mcwrestling.com, Michael. And exactly like I was saying before, you can order merchandise on there. You know, the Thanksgiving tape, the, the Tennessee homecoming with all the legends and the scaffold match and all that stuff. The T-shirts, which, like I said, everybody in the Adams family is going to get one, even though I do get a discount. You don't have to tell them that. I'm going to wrap them, by the way. But, yeah, you can go online. You can check out all the stuff. You can send a postcard and a message to your favorite wrestling fan with pictures of guys like, well, Nick Dinsmore. But you can also get people like Billy Joe Travis, the Sweet Music Man, and Paul Adams. Right now, Sweet seconding up uh, Dinsmore. But Dinsmore countering. There's a kick to the chest. Street goes down. And he went for the cover, but only got the two count. And I'll tell you something about that move right there, Michael. That's not a move that you'd normally see a guy go for a cover after. That's more of a counter hold, not really an offensive maneuver. That's more of a defensive strategy. But that's one of the things that Dinsmore has to his advantage. He countered a move right there, and he went right for the pin. That's something that even though maybe you haven't worn your opponent down so much, you catch him by surprise, you might be able to score a quick one, two, three. He didn't there, but he could have. Inside arm bar now being broken up by uh, the referee, Gene Johnson, as uh, Dinsmore held on to that as Street tried for the escape. We've talked a lot about Nick Dinsmore. Let's talk a bit about Tom Street, young man out of Tallahassee, Florida, making his... Oh! And as I say that, Nick Dinsmore gets a quick victory on Tom Street here on MCW. I don't want to call you a jinx, Michael, but uh, call a spade a spade. Back after this. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's a big one, and it's going to...